Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad with another video and today I want to talk with you guys about matting tools. Matting tools, I use a lot of matting tools in a lot of my pieces and I was sitting here doing a uh, work in the piece today and I was like, hey, I haven't done a video on matting tools yet. So uh, now, matting tools can be used in various work, or it can be used for various purposes. Me personally, I like using matting tools to give me give my work a little texture and background. And there are several kinds out there. Um, I'm just going to grab a few. My latest one, which I just purchased, is this one. I like it because it has that flat end, so when you're actually um, working up against a border, um, you can actually um, use that around the border edge to where you won't won't go over it. And um, y'all forgive me because I should have I should have done uh, got some of these pieces out before I actually started the video, but um, just to let you see. Uh, I have a lot of them, a lot of different sizes. Uh, there's another one. There's another one. I love using this one here. Um, and maybe uh, if you send me a comment or leave a comment, and I'll probably post a comment down there and let you know the, the different um, matting tools or backgrounding tools that I have. So if you choose to, to get off into them, you can. I even have a beveled matting too. You see how that ain't that end is angled on there? Several of those. The ones with the point where you can get up into the corners of pieces and that's beveled as well. Um that's a another different flat one. Uh it also has that pear shape. It's a pear shape background in two. And you can use these man I have like two or three different kinds of those. Uh and then the oval shape one. Now this one here it actually leaves the holes or imprint a deep imprinting a deep deep imprintation trying to work on my, my my language skills too um in there to where it's it just gives it a different look now the one that i'm using today i just i like that textured look kind of like um when you're doing stippling in the, uh um if you if you guys have ever worked with sheep rock and you see that that um, it's a stippling technique that they use to make it look kind of rough or textured, what they call textured. That's what I like using about this one here. And maybe, excuse me, we can get a clear picture. But it's just it's like a bunch of little bumps on the end of it. And there's no particular pattern. Now, with matting, you don't want to just hit it one time. You can and if you, especially when you're getting around the edge of the border, but the way I like to do it, I like to do a repeated tap just to give it, just to give it a little texture look. And I'll show you guys what this is going to look like. And you're basically just working this all over the, the leather. And you want to do this while it's wet, while it's damp a little bit. Now, as I get around my, my picture here, I want to make sure that I get, make sure I don't, you want to make sure that your tool don't jump into your artwork. And so you very, you really want to be very careful around your artwork. Now, what I've done here, because now I'll show you guys, see, it's, it's around the inside of this picture frame that I'm getting ready to do here. Um... As it gets closer to the artwork, what I do is I tilt that tool just a little bit. Just to make sure I don't get into my artwork. And then when I get close to my artwork, I'll tilt it back the other way. Just to make sure that I get a good print and I get close enough. Now, it is a tedious job. And you probably will have to wet repeatedly. And like I told you guys before, I like to miss both sides of my, my piece so the, it doesn't dry out as fast. And I want to just make sure that I get all around my artwork. And 
and you just go all the way around the piece. Now what I'm going to do, this would look very, this is going to look very well, very good as I get ready to, to stain or paint the interior part of that pic picture frame. Um, and then the, the contrast window, the way the paint hit it. Let me, uh, actually I got a piece here. Uh, that this one is kind of drying. I guess you can see how the yeah, you see how that textured look. It just gives it a different look on the inside of that. Very, it makes your work look very great, very good, and it makes your pictorial stand out a little bit. I think you guys can see that. This is what we work with when we deal with matting and having various mattings. Now, even up in the flames of this skull piece here where I had to use this smaller matting tool to really get up in there to make it all uniform and look very well. Uh, quick video today, guys. Just wanted to show you about matting, really how to, to do your mat work. Now, you have a song that will tell you to, to hit it, hit it pretty firm. I just like to do a bunch of rapid fires because I don't want it to take away and it will definitely, and let your mallet work for you. Come on, come off the end of that mallet. Don't choke so much up on it. Come off the end of that mallet and let the let the weight of the mallet let the let the weight of the mallet work for you. This is Robert the Leather Cowboy, Premier Leather Crafters, right here in the Dirty South. Um, just trying to give you guys some good information and make change it up a little bit. Practice around with it. It even looks great on belts if you're doing belts. Man, just to do that matting technique and you still can overlay on top of the matting work with your with your leather stamps. So if you want to stamp the name in there, then it makes the name um, have that matte look too. So when you get ready to paint the name a different color, it's all uniform and looks, look, looks really, really, really good. Right here, the Leather Cowboy. Hope this helped you guys. Practice around with it. Play around with it. Practice, practice, practice. Take your time. Uh, get used to leaning your tools and so you don't interfere into your artwork. Take away from your artwork. And I'll see you guys on the next video. This was a quickie. Peace.